I'm Professor Liu, and I'm a fine artist working in drawing, printmaking, and sculpture. I love teaching studio art because of how open and free and how totally unpredictable the creative process can be. When I'm teaching, I have to be so alert. I have to be really on my toes and really ready to react to anything that might happen. I was really afraid when I made the decision to go to art school that that choice would ultimately be the wrong one. Um, because I remember getting to school in that first week, we were doing all these orientation icebreaker games. and. I was afraid that the rest of the four years would be just like that, like this kind of uh, really light summer camp. And um, I was immediately dissuaded of that fear. Luckily, um, the first day I got into Professor Liu's drawing class, and more importantly, during our first critique, when I put up this drawing that I was really proud of, and Professor Liu said that I had great technique, but that with such poor composition skills, the drawing might as well not exist at all. In elementary school, we had art class once a week for one hour. And I remember those days that we had art class that my classroom teacher would write the daily schedule on the board. And when I saw those words art, I got so excited thinking about all of the things I was going to get to do in art class. When I got to middle school, that all changed because Art was no longer something that you got to take all the time. It just disappeared from the curriculum. And I was sort of shocked by that. And things didn't really improve when I got to high school. I knew in high school that I had this passion for visual art, but I never met an actual working artist. To me, artists were people who you read about in textbooks, who were on the plaques at the museums. I didn't really know that they existed within our day-to-day -day lives. And I looked at some of my peers who were musicians. They were studying with the top musicians in town. I looked at the athletes in my high school. They were going to these prestigious national soccer tournaments. There were these kind of endless numbers of opportunities. But for me, there was almost nothing. There were just a few classes here and there that I would take, but there was nothing substantial or rigorous that really measured up to what I was looking for. My high school art program was always underfunded. We barely had any supplies to work with, and the few art teachers that we had had such a demanding schedule. They were so overworked. They really just didn't have the resources to support the kind of rigorous program I was looking for. When I started teaching college and I was talking to my students about their experience trying to learn visual art before they came to art school, I couldn't believe that they had pretty much the exact same story that I had and that pretty much nothing had changed in 20 years. I realized that because I was a college professor, I could change things. I could create the visual arts resource that I wanted so badly when I was a teenager. It didn't exist for so long, but today it does. When I was in art school, I was really stressed out and nervous for my final critique in Professor Liu's class. But during the review, she told me that I had a Herculean work ethic. And now, whenever I'm feeling really down or upset about myself or my work, I think about that comment that she made, and it makes me feel like I can get through this. People are always saying to me, hey, wouldn't it be great if you were independently wealthy and you didn't have to teach anymore and you could just be a full-time artist working on your artwork all the time? And my answer to that is actually, no, it wouldn't be so great because for me, my teaching and my studio practice, they're so totally integrated with each other that I just couldn't imagine doing one without the other. I'm really impressed with this painting because I think it's a really... <laughs> Ultimately, I think it really... <laughs> 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 Ultimately, I think it's really up to every... <laughs>